How's it going? I'm Ina Golden and welcome to my vlog. One final thing I will sort of say, because I don't, and this is not related to the website, um, I think I might have sort of mentioned it before in one of the, the more recent videos, um, but I've been considering for a while taking uh, Time Forgets, which is the first book that I published through Lulu about, must be close to about 10 years ago at this point, um, but I've been considering retiring it, I have actually retired it. It needs a lot of work to bring it up to my current standard. It, the standard it was when I released it, I thought was okay at the time, um, but my writing skills have improved so much since then, and um, it's been my decision to retire that book, uh, so it is no longer available for sale. Or at least new copies of it are no longer available for sale. I know there are a few copies out there that have been sold. Again, not that many. Um, I seem to be doing with I seem to be doing better with like Kindle Direct so far um, than I have been with Lulu. So it's, it's a reason I want to transfer um, Echo and, and Hyena Boy over. It's, it's, it just works a lot better. Uh, at least seems to be working a lot better for me right now. And I want to sort of strike whilst the iron is hot and keep that momentum going, but uh, Time forget, time Forgets does need a lot of work in order to get it up to a good enough standard for re-releasing it, um, and I don't know at this point in time when I'm going to get around to doing that work, um, so at this point in time it's retired indefinitely. Um, hopefully one day it will be re-released with the rest of its series um, in, in a much better state than it is currently. Um, but for now, it is retired um, and I have to work out how to do the same for Zero Conformity at some point. But they were done with, uh, Zero Conformity was done with a completely different company. Um, which is why I couldn't set the price for it, which is why it's been priced out for market. And, and again, it's one of those things where I want to sort of take it down and then redo it when I'm comfortable with A, the standard that it's in, although it's a much better standard than, than Time Forgets was. <laughs> but um, I, I want to do it justice. I want to, to get it up to a good standard. I want to, you know, re-release it with care and with the cover that it should have had and not the cover that I was forced to go with because of the, um, because of what I had to work with for that particular book, but I need to work out how I can retire that, and, and I, that needs to go onto the site and remembering what my login details are and, and stuff like that, so that's why that's a little bit delayed at the moment, um, but yeah, no, my, my plan is retire those books, concentrate on the stuff that is more recent, um, getting that transferred over to, to Kindle Direct, um, because it just seems to work better for what I need it to be doing right now. Um, whether that momentum keeps up, I don't know. But as long as there is momentum there, it's worth pursuing because the one thing that I have struggled with, with Lulu, is getting the momentum there. Um, and if you don't have the momentum, if people don't know about your book, if people are not reading your work, then you're not getting reviews. And if you're not getting reviews, then people are not reading your work. And getting that initial bit of a momentum, that initial bit of interest, is so difficult that if you're finding, if you found, if you found, if you find, <laughs> there we go, there's the word, if you find a platform that helps you get your work out there and helps you find those readers and helps you find and, and connect with those people, then you need to utilise that platform to the fullest that you can utilise it because it's so hard being an indie author, um, it's so hard getting your work noticed that any little bit of help is a ma it makes so much difference. It makes so much difference. So like I said, I've got a little bit of momentum on KDP at the moment, which is why I'm planning to transfer my books over, which means a lot of updating um, various things um, once I sort of have. Um, Hyena Boy will definitely be done by the end of this year. As I said, I'm planning to get it done within the next couple of days. At least 
get it in the process um, in, in the next couple of days. It won't necessarily be live for a couple of weeks, um, although probably less time than that by the time this one goes out. It's, as I said, it's the 7th of December 2019 when I'm filming this one as well as the last one. Um, so at this point in time, I'm, I'm doing like the final edit stuff. Um, so probably by the time this one is released, I will put a little message on the screen saying it is now either available for pre-release or it's now been it's now available for release depending on various factors um but it is certainly um at this moment in time uh there is a lot going on there's a lot happening there's you know there's the stuff going on with the website there's the stuff going on with my current writing project there's the stuff going on with you know what i need to edit and where i need to go next and it feels like it's been a really big year feels like it's been a really big year um and I know I'm way tangenting off topic uh, um, at this point. Um, I do apologise for that. Um, but this year feels very much like I've been living my best life. Um, I've become a homeowner this year. Um, I kept up the book publishing momentum by publishing um, my third book in three years. Um, I've redecorated my first place uh, pretty much. There are just a few finishing touches, but I think they're always going to be finishing touches. Um, I've, I've decorated my my my, my own place. Um, I've also been moved into the position in work that I've been wanting to be in for the last couple of years. Um, and there is lots of exciting stuff going on in my day job. And I've, as I've mentioned before, it, it's that kind of it's that kind of weird position I'm in at the moment where I still really want to be working as a writer full time, but I don't want to quit my day job just yet either. <laughs> Um, and, and yeah, it, it feels, this, this year feels like I'm, I'm living my best life, um, with all the things that I've managed to achieve, all the things that I've managed to accomplish. Um, I mean, as I'm sure you guys have noticed, I've had my hair restyled a couple of times this year and, and coloured differently a couple of times this year. This current colour, by the way, is to celebrate the release of, uh, the colours I see. I know it's not necessarily the right shade, but it is purple. I'm sure Zell would appreciate it. <laughs> um, you may also probably say that it's not my colour. Um, not because it doesn't suit me, but I think it suits me quite nicely. I, I think I pull it off. Um, but I have no idea what my colour actually is. Uh, in fact, when I was designing the, or when my friend and I were designing the, the cover for, for the colours I see, he wanted to put my my author name in what I would feel would be my colour. Um, and I was like, I don't know what my colour would be. I love all of these colours. <laughs> all of these colours mean something to me. I don't know what my colour would be. So I don't know what, if, if Zell would be like, it's really nice on you, but it's not your colour. <laughs> or if it would be like, yeah, no, that's your colour. That, that. Well done, well done. Um... But yeah, no, it's, it's, this year I feel like I've been living my best life. Um, and I know I, I, yeah, I don't think this is the last vlog of the year. I think there's one more vlog to go this year, um, before the end of the year. And I know the one thing I said would happen before the end of this year is that, um, I would finish doing the Isla Reads for Echo and I haven't. But this year has kind of gotten away from me a little bit. Um, I may try to do it um, in conjunction with re-releasing Echo via KDP next year. Um, I, at this point in time, I, I don't know. Um, honestly, it's it's a lot to take in and a lot to think about um, and various stuff like that. So I'm not going to make any promises when it comes to um, to Isla Reads and, and finishing off Echo with Isla Reads. Um, but yeah, no, this, this year I very much feel like I've been living my best life, um, which is why I've been doing so many of these, uh, this is what's been going on in my writer stuff type vlogs, um, because it, for me it's been so exciting, it's why I've done my um, home, homeowner series, because it's been so exciting. I mean, I know I don't talk to you guys too much about, you know, my day job stuff, and that's purely because it's none of your business. <laughs> um, to be fair, I, I just I, I work for for a as I said before for a fast food company, and I don't want um, 
to necessarily say anything that might get back and not reflect well on me. Um, not that I do, because I do like my job, as, as I've said to you guys before, but you do have to be careful when you're working for a big, big company what you say online about certain things. So that's one of the reasons why I, I try my best not to tell you guys too much about my day job, apart from the fact that, you know, I, I do enjoy it. And as I said, at this point in time, I'm kind of like, yeah, if I, if I suddenly have a best-selling book, that's, that's fantastic and great. But I think I might keep working for my company for just a little bit longer. <laughs> There's something I want to achieve before I finish working for my company. Once I've achieved that, then I will leave. <laughs> You know, provided I'm a best-selling author. Um, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, the fact that I've got momentum now is fantastic. The fact that I've got plans to um, go with that momentum and hopefully get myself into a better position with my writing. I mean, certainly I would absolutely love by the end of 2020 to be in a position where I can at least start thinking about being a full-time author. Um, I think that's that's very much my aim um, for next year is to hopefully get into a position where I can think about becoming a full-time author. Um, whether or not that happens, I don't know. It's not something I can set as a New Year's resolution for myself. Um, it's not like becoming a homeowner, which I set as a New Year's resolution for myself last year because I knew I was in the, the, the financial position in order to make it happen. And <laughs> I made it happen by April. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I, as, as I keep saying, I'm very much, I'm just living my best life right now. Um, and it's very exciting and it, it's very much everything, you know, that I never thought I would necessarily necessarily have achieved um, at this point in time in my life. Um, certainly, it feels like such a much more positive position than I have been in for, for a long time. Um, I just, you know, I just hope things can keep going this way for at least a little while longer. Um, because if they do, then that's fantastic, that's great, that's, you know, that's me made. Um, and not necessarily me made, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with where I am in my life at this point in time. There is lots of exciting things that have been happening to me. There, this has been a really good year. And after having, a, like, so many really bad years recently, just having a year where it just feels like so much positive has happened... Um, and, and there hasn't been that much negative. Um, just it, it's it's good. It's a good position that I'm that I'm in right now. Um, and I've just realised that this video has now gone on for a little while. Um, and I know sort of the second half of this kind of tangented away from the website stuff. So I'm considering at this moment in time, what I might do is I might split this video across two vlogs. Um, I know that's kind of a weird thing to sort of do, um, but that is that is what I'm, I think, planning to do at this point. Um, so what's probably going to happen is this is going to edit itself into the end of, <laughs> into the end of the previous one, or to the first half of it. Um, with some kind of note about how I tangented it off. Um, and then the second half of this one is probably going to have the same intro from the last one and no kind of lead in, um, or have this as kind of a lead in as well. Let's let's see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I, I, it, it's, a, it's a bit long to upload as one vlog, especially when it takes about three hours to upload a 15 minute video. <laughs> um, because my network is so slow. <laughs> right, okay. So, um, whatever I decide to do with the editing of this video, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to the next one. Um, I don't know what the next one is going to be about right now. Um, it all depends on how I edit things for this one. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time.
See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.